we have talked about the hooks law in the case of springs we have also talked about hooks law in the case of wires ab my pass aate hain rubber bands rubber bands ki kaise measure karenge this experiment is essentially the same as the spring experiment this mainly is the bilkul usi ki tarah hai jaise aapka spring wala experiment tha the sole difference between that once of all is the masses have been added now they should be removed once at a time and the position recorded it is done because aapka rubber band jo hota hai wo sensitive hota hai aur hum isko kya karte hain we do not add masses hum use karte hain ek newton meter bhi newton meter bhi aapki help karta hai in telling you ki kitna mass add ho chuka hai now rubber bands remain slightly extended after stretching and so the readings taken whilst unloading the band will be slightly longer than those taken whilst loading it to so, rubber bands mein kya hai the only difference was that the sole difference being that once all of the masses have been added they should then be removed one at a time kyunki agar aapne ek dam remove kiya wo ek dam se upar chala jayega rubber band aur aapki reading ki accuracy nahi rahegi so this is all that you need to know about the case of a rubber band it is it is a little bit same uh, like the spring experiment but it differs from the wire experiment so overall agar hum ek summary mein dekhe spring wala vertically hi hota hai by adding different masses फिर आपके पास जो दूसरा था दैट वाज़ द केस ऑफ अ वायर वायर वाले केस के अंदर हमने देखा कि वो एक हॉरिजॉन्टल बेंच पे होता है विद द हेल्प ऑफ अ पुली एंड देन वी सॉ द केस ऑफ द रबर बैंड्स जिसके अंदर एवरीथिंग इज द सेम द ओनली डिफरेंस कि जब आपने मैसेज ऐड कर दिए हैं द न्यूटन मीटर इज गोइंग टू रिकॉर्ड दैट हाउ मच फोर्स हैज बीन अप्लाइड ऑन द रबर बैंड और फिर वो आपको वैल्यू बताएगा एंड यू डू नॉट हैव टू रिमूव ऑल द मैसेज एट वंस वन बाय वन आपने रिमूव करते जाना Yeah, this is all for the hooks law in case of springs, wires, and rubber bands as well.